Chris Zarboff, you were at the crime scene when you called the police over to check the whole thing out? Of course I was detective. Otherwise it wouldn't make sense, would it? You didn't happen to see the murderer, did you? Uh, absolutely not detective. Where were you before you found the dead body? My brother and I were park rangers. We were scouting around the park looking for trash that was left all over the ground. I went far off from him picking up a bunch of soda cans that were idiotically thrown in the water. When I came back, there he was on the ground with a knife in his back. A knife? The murder weapon. Who would use a knife to commit the murder, then run off leaving it in the victim's back? I wish I knew detective. Thank you for the information. Do you know anyone else who may have known Vincent? I don't really like mentioning him because of what I've heard from him doing, but someone who has known Vincent goes by the name Melvin Winkler. Melvin Winkler? Did someone bail him out of prison? He was my cousin, and I released him because I felt as though he has learned his lesson after what he was arrested for. I was never informed. Chief Cervantes, you never told me that Melvin Winkler was bailed out of prison by Chris Zarboff, who was his cousin. I didn't think it would be that important to you, nor did I think that Melvin and Richard had any relation to the Zaboffs. I'm suspecting a double act between the two, but for the time being, I will talk to Melvin so he can tell his side of the story. Melvin, I have some things to ask you about a very urgent matter. Now, if you please, Detective Canroy, it has been a long day. I'm sure it has but I believe you should answer me a few questions regarding the murder of Vincent Zarboff. I'm sorry, detective, but I really need to get some rest, because I do not wish to be rude by falling asleep before the interrogation is done. I understand, but you must at least report to the police station tomorrow morning. If you insist. Do you really think Melvin is linked to the murder somehow? He's done much worse things before, so maybe he would have been the culprit. Who on earth could that be? Visitor, the door is unlocked. Detective Conroy. Yes, I am here to talk to the president about the murder of Vincent Zarboff. Why is this murder the topic of the conversation you're bringing to this room? I have been told by Vincent's brother Chris that he was a cousin of you and Melvin. Oh that's right. The Zarboffs and I haven't seen each other for years. I will be talking to Melvin about the matter. I think the two of them might have something to do with the situation. Chris Zarboff a murderer? Don't be so simple. What wrong could Vincent have done Chris to deserve anything he gets from him? Don't forget that your brother is being interrogated. The one who nearly ruined your city months back? I would not be at all surprised if he has something to do with the murder, if not being the culprit. Melvin Winkler, Detective Kinroy will be with you shortly. In the meantime, please wait patiently in the interrogation room.